Hello everyone, today I will be making a, short, tutorial video for the Nuclear Playground mod in People Playground, and helping you design your first fully functional stable reactor. In the Nuclear Playground mod, you can build reactors by placing nuclear material near each other, this is indicated in the game with a blue glow around the material, and large amounts of heat and radiation being generated. To start our nuclear adventure off, we need material, which can be gained through the use of the fuel reprocessor, or spawned in the spawn menu. The fuel reprocessor takes in or and spits out fertile isotopes on the left, and fissile isotopes on the right, both fertile and fissile isotopes are needed to create fuel. To turn our material into usable nuclear fuel, we must place it within a fuel maker, the fuel maker takes in three isotopes and creates fuel based on the contents. For this tutorial we will be using uranium as it is the simplest and easiest to use material to the best of my knowledge. If you place two fertile and one fissile isotopes of material into the machine, it will eject lowly enriched fuel, LEF. And if you place one fertile and two fissile isotopes of material into the machine, it will eject highly enriched fuel, HEF. LEF is, cooler, than HEF, tending to have low meltdown points but never really getting too hot, and are usually more stable than HEF. HEF on the other hand is, hotter than LEF, tending to have higher meltdown points and without cooling easily reaching their respective points within seconds if left unattended, HEF is less stable than LEF and requires purpose-built reactors with coolant not just buckets connected to turbines. Keep in mind, when I say cooler and hotter I don't mean either of them are cool, they are both hot, extremely hot, nearly as hot as the surface of the sun most of the time, but compared to each other, LEF is cooler than HEF. If you place the isotopes in the fuel maker in the wrong order you will have to place a new fuel maker down, it's a glitch and I'm not sure if the creator knows about it or if it's just me, so just remember fertile fertile fissile for LEF, fertile fissile fissile for HEF. Now that we have our fuel you can see that blue glow I talked about earlier, that is the mod's way of showing that nuclear fusion is happening and you are generating heat, as you can see, different fuels have different melting points. LEU-235 has a meltdown point of 5000 C, about as hot as the surface of the sun, while HEF-235 has a meltdown point of 8000 C, nearly double the surface of the sun, the higher the meltdown point is the more heat the fuel can generate therefore the more heat to be turned into power by your turbines, although hotter fuels will also get hotter quicker, so just because your reactor can handle 12, HEU-235 doesn't mean it can handle even 2. HECF249 the hottest fuel in the mod which would require an insane reactor that I'm not even sure how to make while making it also worthwhile, as you can see the HEU235 on the right is brighter than the LEU235 on the left, but this still isn't generating nearly enough heat, so let's try something hotter. Oh! It would appear it has exploded, this is because the HECF249 reached its meltdown temperature of 29,000 Celsius in what, 3 to 4 seconds? Now that you know what can happen when it goes wrong it's finally time to build the reactor. First thing we want to place down is the turbine, this will be where your reactor generates its power, it takes steam from your boiler into the red pipe, to generate electricity from the yellow pipe, and exhaust steam from the blue pipe, the exhaust steam can then be routed into a cooling tower in the tower's red pipe, along with extra water in the dark blue pipe from a water pump, to create water going out of the light blue pipe, which you can then put in your boiler, along with another pipe from a second water pump to make an endless cooling loop. Use the one-way reactor pipes as they move high amounts of liquid quickly and in one way only. They can be selected by hovering over the wire icon and selecting the pipe with arrows on it.
Now that the main reactor is done we can move on to designing the nuclear part of the reactor. These are graphite moderators, they trap in the neutrons of the nuclear fuel they work like a thick blanket, they trap in the nuclear particles emitted by the nuclear fuel rods and cause the fuel rods to react more causing them to heat up more, the more heat, the more power, there are also heavy water moderators which trap more neutrons but reduce the fuel efficiency causing the fuel to run out quicker, the more graphite moderators you use the more nuclear energy you create as the nuclear particles bounce around more and more, although too much trapping may cause the fuel to heat up too much causing a meltdown. Now that we are done with our crash course in moderators, we can begin building the reactor all you really need to do for either of the uranium-235 fuels is a bucket connected to your boilers, the passive cooling of all the structures is enough to stop any sort of meltdown while still generating large amounts of energy, if you want an example of a uranium-233 reactor I have uploaded mine on the workshop, it's not very good and caps out at about 20,000 power units as that's the maximum one large turbine can make. Different sized turbines can only generate a certain amount of power, larger more powerful reactors may require multiple, boilers, turbines, and maybe even towers, for now one large turbine will suffice, all we are doing right now is making a stable reactor that generates large amounts of power, and this is a lot of power, the industrial generator and people playground which is the best vanilla power source only generates 966 power units. Make sure you use heat pipes to connect all the graphite moderators or even heavy water moderators to make sure you are actually getting all the heat from the reactor, then simply just plug a heat pipe from one moderator to your boiler and power will begin being generated, it may take a minute for the reactor to reach full power. This concludes the tutorial, while there is still more in the mod like boron control rods which can be used to reduce the amount of nuclear particles generated by fuel which could be used to stop a meltdown from happening. And there is also lead shielding which can block radiation generated by the reactor allowing humans to be near it without getting radiation poisoning. There is also the antimatter reactor which I don't understand in the slightest so no tutorial on that. But apart from that, this is everything the nuclear playground mod has, experiment, have fun, like and subscribe, and I hope this video will help you making your own reactors, goodbye.